Um, so Drugs Meter is here with Robin Carhart Harris at the Secret Garden Festival and one can't help but notice there's an awful lot of people wandering around the place with very big pupils and I beg... Not mine. No, no, no. But it begs the question, I guess, how do psychedelics work? So um, Robin, you're an expert in this area. Could you give us a three minute idiot's guide to what, what psychedelics are doing to the brain? Okay, so uh, what we've learned from the brain scanning uh, research that we've done is that psychedelics affect particular regions in the brain and these are important hub structures in the brain. They're very important for constraining our experience of the world, for keeping it steady and familiar uh, and uh, that, that feeling that we have of assurance as we go around the world um, sampling the world really and doing what we do. Uh, it's that that, that, that probably uh, depends on normal activity in these hub structures of the brain. And it's these hub structures, these regions with very dense connectivity, lots of nerve fibers coming in and converging on these zones. Um, it's, it's activity in, in these regions which is affected by psychedelics and it's affected in the direction of being decreased. So we see a decrease in activity in these hub structures in the brain and we think that translates uh, to a loss of the normal integration uh, function that these hub structures serve. So the psychedelics remove some of the normal filters we have in the world? You could say it that way and actually Aldous Huxley in his famous Doors of Perception essay on on his mescaline experience described uh, it just in that in, in those terms that uh, the normal uh, uh, filters uh, that the brain has to um, sort of reduce and limit our experience of the world um, are um, you know are, are the things that are affected by by the drug that the he said that the nervous system uh, is in the main eliminative rather than um, sort of productive activity in the brain is actually more for uh, sort of constraining and limiting our experience of the world than generating our, our experience of the world. One assumes those filters are there for a reason, so is removing those filters or down-regulating those things, is that harmful or risky? Uh, it could be, it could be harmful, but it could be beneficial as well. So it could be harmful in the sense that uh, some degree of assurance about the way things are can be helpful and some uh, degree of organization in our behavior, in our thinking is useful. Um, it allows us to operate well, to be, to be organized in our, in our behavior and, and, and to get things done, to, to focus on things. Uh, so if you knock that out then people could be a little bit chaotic in their thinking and their behavior but equally people could become too kind of stuck in their ways they could they be, could become too kind of motoric in their thinking and their behavior and in, in um, extreme examples like in obsessive compulsive disorder for instance people may become so stereotyped or motoric uh, in their behavior that um, it becomes pathological it becomes something which isn't healthy uh, and so by giving a psychedelic and allowing a degree of kind of controlled chaos essentially in the system in the brain uh, then that could be useful for people especially if it's mediated with some level of psychotherapy if people are looked after properly. Okay um, so just a quick final tip for anyone who's never done a trip before with any psychedelic what are your three golden rules to try and ensure someone has as good a time as possible? So take it in the right environment that would be paramount uh, Take it with somebody who is not on a psychedelic and who is going to look after you and who you've already uh, talked to about this, that, that uh, they're going to have a degree of responsibility for your welfare, that they're going to make sure that you don't do anything uh, dangerous and uh, that if you become uh, scared and frightened and dysphoric, if you start having a bad trip, then they're the people who can talk you down and, and try and relax you. So that's really important. The other thing is to, uh, not take too high a dose uh, and as best as possible know what you're taking so I think I cheated a little bit there and had four but uh, always play on the safe side. Lovely, thank you.